Hey, what's up everyone? It's Matt here. Um, sorry I did not make a video last week. I was sick. Really sick. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. I know I said in my last video that I'd be doing a challenge, but I haven't gotten around to it, and I haven't gotten the supplies for the first one, which is the smoothie challenge. Um, don't mind the noise. It's my phone. My girlfriend is talking to me. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um as you can see I've got my haircut since my last video. I honestly don't know if I had my haircut in the last one, but anyway, um yeah, some news for all of my viewers and followers. Um, my Facebook is now not on, not my only Facebook. I'm sharing it with my girlfriend and all of you who are gonna be saying, "Man, he's crazy and all that stuff." Yeah, I am, but I also love my girlfriend, so I don't care. I share with her. There are no secrets that I have that she doesn't know about. Anyway, um, this video is going to be about church. I mean, honestly, in my life, I've been to three churches. One I went to as a kid, but it got flooded, and, like, I stopped going for about 15 years. And then I started going to a church right down the road from my house, and it helped me find God again. And, I mean, no offense to that church, but I just didn't feel right going there again, like, after that. But then I stopped going for like a year and a half, and my best friend invited me to his church. Well, they really invited me, tricked me to going. It was a Wednesday. I completely forgot what day it was. But um, basically that church, the one I'm in now, Oak Ridge, um, it helped me, like, and it's continuing to help me grow stronger in my faith in God and show my faith and show God's love through me every single day that I can. And I'm so thankful for the church and for God for helping me find another church to help me find my faith again and to help me become the man that I am. Because without him and without the church that I'm at, I wouldn't be who I am now. I wouldn't be where I am now. <laughs> um, basically, I'm just going to say, like, everybody goes to church. Like, if you watch my videos and... You don't believe in God, and you don't go to church, then okay, I mean, I'm not going to judge you, nobody's perfect, and nobody ever will be, but um, those of you that do go to church, I honestly, in my opinion, as a person who's been through it, there's always two churches that you will go to, unless you change cities or whatever, and you're in the military, then there'll be more. But if you live in one town for your entire life, then there'll be one church that you go to that will help you find your faith if you lost it. Then there'll be another church that you go to, like, and you'll go stronger than you ever thought you would. So, I mean, if you're going to a church right now, and every time you go to that church, like, you get this feeling to get back in your car and leave... That's not just you. That's God telling you, you don't belong at that church anymore. That he has another church he wants you to go to, so you can grow stronger within him. So honestly, um, tip to those of you who watch this video and get that feeling, I'd say, get in your car, get on your bike or whatever you ride to church, and just go around starting to visit other churches until... You go to one Sunday morning or Wednesday night, and the moment you step on the gravel of that parking lot of the church, and you feel a huge release off of you, that will be the church that God puts you in, that you belong to, until He has another one for you to go to. I mean, that's how I felt when I went to Oak Ridge for the first time. It felt awesome. I mean, like a huge blessing ever since then. 
my life has changed for the better. I mean, well, since then and since my girlfriend and I got together, I mean, she's the best girlfriend I could ever ask for. Shout out to you, Sarah. Baby, I love you. I always will. And, um, yeah. But, for those of you that go to a church and you get the feeling to stop going to it, but you ignore that feeling, and yet you have things happening to you that, like, you don't think should. Those are signs that God's trying to show you that He wants you to leave the church you're at and find the church you need to be at. Do not ignore the signs. Like, I've had a friend. He goes to a church that I go to as well. Like, it's my second church family. Oak Ridge is my first. And he used to go to Oak Ridge, but he stopped and he went back to his old church. And, like, within two weeks of going back to his old church, he got grounded. After getting off restriction, went back to his old church, got grounded again, like a week later. Got grounded again. He just recently got off restriction. And I mean, he's been grounded three times in a row since he's been back to his old church. To me, that's a sign to him that he does not belong at that church. But it's for him to find out. I can't tell him. And for those of you who are out there trying to tell, like, your friends, your parents, you can't tell them. Like, you can give them hints, but you can't tell them, hey, you don't need to go into this church anymore. It's not right for you. Because... You have no right to say that. Letting them find out on their own. I hope my friend does because I care about him a lot. He's like my brother. Anyway, yeah. Um, like, share, and comment on this video. If you have any video suggestions, please, those of you that know that I sing, do not do songs because those, from past experience, those annoy me. Like, as soon as I see the comment, I'm just like... So, yeah. Much love to everybody. God bless. And I hope everyone has a good week. Later.